and welcome back to another beautiful day here at Honeybee Acres. I am here with our daughter Abby and if you can see in the background over there is a miniature horse named Smokey. Here at Honeybee Acres we have a couple of miniature horses that are kind of Abby's horses. She has one that she's trained and is her horse. His name is Colorific and she really enjoys working with these little miniature horses. Smokey over there is a horse of a friend of ours who needs a little training. He needs some work. Um, he needs some work on his manners and, and on his training. He, he hasn't had much work that way and he needs to learn how to behave around people and how to be a good horse. So today we're showing you what Abby does when she trains a miniature horse. She's trained a few horses and um, so we thought we'd bring you guys along and let you see what she does. Um, one of the things, we've already shot all of this video, we're coming back and doing this part first. One of the things she does in the video is she brings out a plastic grocery sack and she does some work with him in the plastic, plastic grocery sack. And we didn't really explain why she was doing that. So I wonder, Abby, if you would just tell us why you use the plastic grocery sack. So most horses are going to be scared of the plastic grocery sack because it's kind of all over the place. It blows in the wind. It's kind of loud. It's just it's a very spooky thing for a horse. And so what I did is I rubbed it all over Smokey here and just got him really desensitized with that. If he can get not spooked over something like that, then it'll make it a lot easier to work with him with other things. So basically the thing I was thinking is the more you scare your horse, the less scared he'll be. Yep. And generally speaking, horses are quite skittish animals, whether it's a big horse or a miniature horse like Smokey. If you don't work with them, things that they're not familiar with are scary to them. So a plastic bag where it's crinkly and it makes that sound, that's scary to him because he doesn't know if that's something that's going to hurt him or not, right? Mm -hmm. So he has to learn that the plastic sack, it's not going to hurt him. There's a couple of times where she lets him smell it because he's really unsure about it. And she just lets him get familiar with it and he smells it and she rubs it all over him and he can see that this isn't scary. Um, a skittish horse that you don't work with very much can be dangerous to people, right? And so really we're trying to make him safer to be around people so that people can work with him. And that's a general rule of thumb for all horses is you want to desensitize them to a lot of things because they tend to be jumpy, they can rear up, they can kick, they can do a lot of things that could injure a person or hurt a person or, or other other animals or whatever it may be. And so it's really important with a horse to work with them in that way. So, and just so you know, if you've never seen this kind of training before, nothing that Abby does hurts him, nothing. She doesn't ever do anything to hurt him. One thing that I love about Abby when she's working with horses and why she's so good at it is because she's really patient and she's really kind. She's firm and she's showing them who's boss, but she's not mean. And I think the animals can sense that kindness in her, even if they're not sure about her in the beginning, if they're, if they're not familiar with her. And Abby has done a lot of work with other miniature horses and other animals to train them. And I think the reason they respond so well and actually fairly quickly, Smokey came along really fast, um, is because she's firm she doesn't let them push her around but she's kind and she's gentle and and she treats them with respect as well she expects respect and but she treats them with respect too so with that being said come along and let us show you what she does
keep going. Just, well, he's going to be a pain. It's expected. Totally getting it. Good boy. No but. head to her, not his rear end. Oh. Good boy, huh? Good boy. Mm -hmm. Little stinker. pressure really light on him in here so okay. it's not as intense when mm. he does that so he knows he did good. Mm -hmm. Oh, good boy. 
Yay! Good boy! Okay, so we are here with Abby and Smokey, the miniature horse. She is training him for some friends. And I guess first off, why are we training him? What is it that he needs or what is it that they're hoping you'll be able to do with him? I think they just want him to get gentle a little bit. He's kind of crazy. He's a stud, so which mm -hmm. means naturally he's going to be a little more crazy. He has no respect for mm -hmm. anybody other than himself. Yep. So he's, he's got to learn who's in get, charge, huh? That. Yeah. Yep. And he, if left to just be himself without any training, he could be, he's just really high energy and doesn't, doesn't behave very well around people sometimes. So in this video, you were running him around in circles. Why were you doing that? First step to gaining a horse's respect is moving their feet frontwards, forwards, left and right. Okay. Um, when they live out in a herd, <clears throat> that's that's what the top horse in the pecking order does, is it moves their feet, the other horse's feet. So that's kind of what you have to mimic here. Okay. Okay. And then I noticed also um, you were trying to get him, you'd run him around in circles a few times and then you'd want him to turn around and run the other way, but sometimes you weren't happy with how he turned around. Can you tell us about that? If he turns with his butt towards you, it means he doesn't have any respect for you. He might be willing to kick you. It just, he doesn't have any respect for you at all. If he turns with both of his eyes towards you, it means he respects you enough to watch and see what you're doing. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So this, what you were doing today was basically kind of just showing him you're in charge. He needs to do what you want him to do and he needs to respect you. Mm -hmm. Yep. And when you first brought him out, he was being a little pill. He did not. He kept turning with his butt towards you and that was kind of frustrating. But how long did it take before he started doing it the right way most of the time? I think it took a good 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. So it didn't take too long. You had to, you just had to be firm with him and show him you were in charge and that you weren't going to put up with his disrespect. And it started coming quicker when you kind of kept putting him in his place. Mm -hmm. Final. Mm hmm. Yep. I don't care. It's never, it's always so <laughs> underwhelming when I do this. Uh, well, but when you put it on the crop and you start whipping it around. Yeah, I just want to see how it gets with it. Yeah.
Nothing? <laughs> that is so funny. Like under his chest being touched. Okay. So you probably then want to do that a lot, right? Yeah, you can do that a whole lot. Yep. Ooh. Plastic bag is pretty scary, huh? when he freaks out. Like a lot of horses, they'll get jumpy and they'll just try to run away. Mm -hmm. He just freaks out. He'll rear up and try to buck and go mm -hmm. crazy mm -hmm. because that's just what he does. So if anything, like he, whether he's around other horses or not, mm -hmm. if he gets spooked, he's just gonna freak out and try to get out of there and fight as hard as he can. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why his current owner is a little scared of him a mm -hmm. little bit is I guess one time he got spooked and then he freaked out like that, not trying to hurt her. He was yeah. just trying to get out. Yeah, so he kind of backs up and rears up and tries to back away, mm -hmm. but without turning his back because he wants to keep his eye on what's... Right. What it is he doesn't like. Because like, Makes see sense. there, when he was rearing up, he wasn't trying to hurt me. Yeah. He was just trying to get away from the thing that was touching him. Yeah, that's understandable. Can't blame him for that if you don't know what it is and it's scary. I don't know Awkward. about this. <laughs> but see how his leg is cocked right there? Uh-huh. Means he's relaxed. 
Oh, that's great. Leg being cocked, if he's blinking his eyes, licking his lips, or if his head is down, mm -hmm. those are all major signs of a horse relaxing. So that's okay. really what we want. Here. Good. That's great. He's making great progress just today. Good boy. Wait, say that again. He's licking his lips, he's chewing, he's trying to eat. Surprisingly, he's not right? He's on running away or trying to freak out. Uh huh. Which he's never been in this situation before that we know of where he's had this going on. Good boy. shocked. Boy. He does have a a good bit of calmness about him when he mm -hmm. decides to be, yeah. you know. I say that's good enough yeah, for this morning. Yeah, that's some really good progress for one day. He did a good job, so did you. You guys make a good team. Mm -hmm. Good job, you two. I'd say he deserves a treat sometime later today maybe, huh? I agree. For all his hard work and a good brush out. Mm -hmm. He'll probably like that. Okay, thank you, Abby and Smokey. Yeah. Bark my fingers. Yeah. You naughty horse. Maybe he doesn't deserve a treat, huh? He's like, 
his, te his lips are out, but his teeth are like, 